In this short video tutorial, we're going to look at how to schedule sending an email in Outlook on the web. So I've logged into my Outlook account here, and what I want to do is I want to create an email that I don't want to send immediately. I maybe want to send it tomorrow or perhaps during the middle of the night when I'm not actually logged onto my computer. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, what I want to do is I want to create a new email message. And then in the area here for our message, I'm going to type the message itself or paste one in. So I've got a little um, message here to Chris. I'm going to travel to London and I want Chris to give me some recommendations for my trip. The next thing I need to do is I need to pop in a subject. So I'm just going to copy a subject across just like that. And then what we do is we pop the email address in here. So in this box, I would put Chris's email address. So let's just pop that in just now. At this stage here, normally what you would do is if you wanted to send this email immediately, you would simply click on send. But in our case, we want to send it at a specific time and date. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to make use of the down pointing arrow next to the button. So anytime you see a down pointing arrow or chevron in Outlook, you'll know that there are further options for that particular button. So we'll click on this one here, and then you'll see we can either send it immediately, which is the same as clicking here, or we can use the schedule send option. So I'm going to click on that one there. And then you'll see here with that little delay that we are able to choose one of their preset options or customize. So if I knew I was wanting to send this tomorrow morning at, uh, let's say Thursday at 8 a.m., I could simply choose that one there and then click send. And what will happen is at 8 a.m. on Thursday, that email will send. I can do the same for Sunday morning, but maybe one of those times isn't suitable for this email and I want to set that myself. So I'm going to go customize time and then in here we get a calendar pop up. So I can then choose the date that I want to send this. So those options were Thursday or Sunday. Let's go for Friday instead. And then the time is we're going to send this one. Let's say I need to send this really early. So I don't know, Chris is going to be up from 6 a.m. I'm certainly not. So I'm going to choose 6 a.m so that Chris receives that first thing in the morning before perhaps he looks at his other emails for the day. Now all I need to do is I just click on the send button and then what will happen is it's going to pop that into my um, drafts. So it's going to live in the drafts folder just now under drafts and you'll see if I click on it, the email is living in there. So it shows as draft, but if we click on it, then what you'll see is it tells us here this is scheduled to be sent on Friday the 28th at 6 a.m. Now the good news here is if I have to make any changes, I can simply click on the pencil here and then I can either modify the contents of the email, including the sending time, or if I think actually let's just get that sent just now, then all we do is click send now. So I'm going to go back to modify email and then this will allow me to make changes to the email itself, including the sent date. So I could maybe update this if I needed to. Maybe I've noticed that actually it's meant to be um, December we're traveling down. So we'll make that change there. And then I go back to schedule send. And then all we need to do is either choose the last one we chose before or preset, or what we can do is go to customize time. And maybe let's say, actually let's send this on Monday at 9.30. So we'll click send. Again, that email will sit in our drafts folder until that time and date and then it will send. Now don't worry about it not appearing correct here. That's just because I've got a little delay on sending of emails and it first of all tries to send it, but you'll see it now update. So it wasn't actually going to send it there, but it has to move it into my drafts folder and update it just because of that little undo send that I have set up. So now you'll see Monday the, the 1st of July, this one is ready to go at 9.30 in the morning. If for any reason I don't want that to send again, all I need to do is go back to modify email and then this time I'm just going to leave it in my drafts. So you'll see if I click on it here, it's now in my drafts but it's not going to be sent unless I click on send or set up another schedule send. 